Hey guys, BBI here. I want to stop and say thanks thanks for tuning in and checking out whatever the video is about that's about ready to come up next. If you could take a minute and hit subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy what you've seen here, make sure to hit the like button. We'd greatly appreciate your support. Anyhow guys, all that aside, let's get on with the show. I do that again. Take, take two. Hmm. Baby, what are we doing today? We are moving. <laughs> we are moving. It's moving day. <laughs> for the amplifier, not for us. Not us. For this amp. What are we doing? We're transferring this into a bigger case. That's correct. So what is the problem that we have? We do not have a case that fits this. This board. <laughs> this board. My uh, one of my good friends, he decided to <clears throat> learn how to build, right? Like a lot of guys do, they start out and they decide they want to learn how to build. And so over his years, literally two and a half years of coming up here, we started on this 24 pill project for him. And the case for this, I don't remember where it got off to or what, what the deal was with it, but we don't have the case for this 32 pill slim. So they make a 32 pill slim and a 32 pill jumbo. Well, we happen to have a couple 32 pill jumbo boards and a couple 32 pill jumbo cabinets, but we don't have a 32 pill slim. So we've been out here busting ass all morning. I wish we would have figured this out first thing this morning. I would have been helpful, but it's fine. Because we've been out here, we built all the small parts this morning. We did all the input and output windings on all the transformers, we put all the resistors in, we put all the chokes on it, we... Yeah. But the 32 pill jumbo's got a bigger heat sink on it, and the cabin is bigger, so it allows us to have more airflow. guy doesn't know we love him after this he's gonna right <laughs> Fun. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good like job. Good job. Good job. <clears throat>
Oh, really? We having fun? You're going to have a lot to do over here. I can't get any of these up. Oh. <clears throat> Because of the spreader that's in there, okay. that's what we're digging down to get. So we got to get the spreader out of there. Okay. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Watch. Right for the edge, and I just can see I can torque the screw over just a little bit. pressure on the tops of the transistors.
never done this before. Oh. Yeah, so it's just totally ripping the whole box apart to. Right. I'm not trying to do it carefully. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> something you don't get to see very often. It's the bottom side of this thing looks like. That's neat. It's like a freaking Lego ship or something. That is neat. There's something over here. Okay. So what we're after is what's underneath here. These. Well, even though we built this in almost a sterile environment, look at all the stuff that's in there. I know. It's hair, like my face hair and stuff. But yeah, the, the copper units. Okay. So Let's, all the these? Yeah, those all gotta go. took the whole thing apart. We didn't even scratch the board. I know. Good job on that. Good job. Good job. As Hancock would say, good job. Good job, good job. So let's set that aside. That's interesting. That's an interesting result. Mm-hmm. Hmm. These are... Uh, Twenty thousand thick copper heater or uh, spreaders. I'm gonna set these over out of the way too. Okay.
Well, babies, let's get to spreading. How far? Now, before I, we, I let you put your fingers on that, please note that this cream, if you consume it internally into your body in the state of California, oh man, I want to lick my fingers. Has uh, and this is only if you consume it internally. Has been known to uh, cause cancer, cause you to grow a third eye on the end of your penis, and might possibly cause birth defects. Okay. So I don't want any eyes on my penis, so don't do it. Is that what you're saying? Just don't, don't touch the white stuff. Don't and lick it. How far do we go? We go about this way. Okay. Oh, it's already like sticky. Yeah. It's a silicone-based lipidium, obdium, nanotanium, friggin'. <laughs> now there's two schools of thought with this. There's guys who are like, no, just smear it down and just you know plop it on there and then drop the part onto it. And then there's other guys that are like me that like to spread it. I like to spread it. The guys are like, no, I'll drop and squat it. I think that the part is going to create enough pressure to distribute the cream. Well, that's not what we're working on here. So, whatever you do, don't do this. Exactly. oversized anyhow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All it takes for you to lose the whole game is to have a little piece of flux, a little piece of solder, and the foot doesn't make contact.
we've got a nice good layer of dye. Also Dollar Tree Grease, but we need Dr. Cream. What do we say that what I say that I thought this would take us to do about three two hours. hours two hours or so? Yeah. No, I haven't found anybody that wants to pay for that.
nice to be touching. Yeah. We have a cough button on the on the friggin' mic, buddy, baby. Are you? I need a burp button half the time, you know. Here. Not a big fan of double-sided stick tape, but all this is doing is keeping it from moving it around. So we put it back together. <laughs> Your little fine delicate fingers, you want to come pull the uh, sure. What am I pulling? Backing off of this. Back, oh yeah. much nicer than I thought it was going to. Yeah. Good job. That's great. You didn't get any of the heat conductive cream on your jacket, did you? No. Because the shit does not come out. No, just on my own. <sighs> okay. I'm going to hold while you get the... Okay, doctor, here's the heart. Sample. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing over there? Presenting this. You're presenting this? <laughs> Love. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is weird putting it together like this because you have to solder between all the little yeah. to put it all back down. Yeah. Seems like there's a variation in the dye pattern. I just pray everything lines up.
system. Can we go down the line, or do you want to put screws in the other end and work to the middle? No, we're going to go one end to the other. Okay. Push. You spoke profanity. And like, I don't care. You're not paying me. <laughs> Wonder if we can bore them and put up like a three-hour-long video. Or <laughs> I feel like all we've been doing is screwing things in and screwing things out. <laughs> I did that once. I did a whole video on like what it takes to actually do a four pill all like five and a half, uh -huh. six hours. And it got like, when you walk, look at the, the data for the video, uh -huh. it goes, the view time is like the first 20 minutes. Everyone's all excited and then, psh. Yeah. <laughs> So if we need to reorientate this for you, we definitely do. Just speak up. It's getting out of my there. Butter? Okay. Yeah. Getting out of my reach. Well, congratulations for your first online YouTube business. Mm. Thanks. I'm very excited. No, definitely you're... digging how well these screws are biting. No. I never thought I'd see the day it was easier to abandon the whole board <laughs> and go to a completely different cabinet than it is to try and, I mean, what was it, three, four hundred dollars in shipping, yeah. four hundred yeah. something dollars in shipping to get it here in two good days? Good decision. Very good decision. YouTube land is going to be like at this point in the video, they're like, damn it, hurry up, it's boring. <laughs> Sorry. They knew how much stuff we film and then just hits throw it away, you know? Yeah. Good. 
for. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh huh. Patients. I have one more friend or customer you know, like flip out on me because of <laughs> some stupid arbitrary timeline in their head. This is ridiculous. But we all have a lot more going on than what's seen. That's true. All of us. Both sides. started building and the next thing you know I'm like well let's build a 64. Paul was supposed to be a 16 pill when we started. When it was 16 pill, 24 pill, 32 pill like the ant never even left here. Uh, knowing him he'll have me build this and then he'll say okay now build me a 48. <laughs> like, Screw you. made some progression on the box I'm going to show you here in a minute but the main thing is is this so this is our cabinet okay now normally what I do is I think about airflow a lot because airflow is the most important thing when it comes to getting 
you know, making an amp actually run very smoothly is being able to strip the heat out of the cabinet, right? So, what I have done in the past is I'll bring all the power wires, make sure I'm in frame here, bring all the power wires down the center of the cabinet, and then I'll fold them up on the side, and then I'll bring them out through a strain relief on a corner. Well, I didn't want to do that this time. I mean, literally the easiest way would be to bring the power wire straight out. When you take the power wire and you run it up the middle of the cabinet, like right up the middle of the cabinet and fold it and then bring it out one side, it blocks off one side of the cabinet just a little bit. Well, on this particular 32 pill jumbo, what they, uh, what they normally do is they'll just run the power wires right out the back. Well, there's no strain relief. There's no rub protection. There's no, so then the first thing I thought about doing was I got one of these guys here. I got one of these guys right here, this little strain relief here. And I put it in there. I thought, well, man, maybe I could, I could kind of slide back and forth though. And Maybe I could get that fit in that hole. I'd sit there and I'd dremel this out. That'd be easy, right? I thought, man, there's got to be a better, more creative way to do this. So, I ain't got to polish this yet, but uh, I've got eight power wires. So I thought, man, how do I make this look slick? Well, if you set that in there, you'll see that if I put rubber grommets on everything, it's still, it's gonna, the grommets will get in the edge of the way of the hole openings. So then the, the light came on in my head. Set it back a little bit. This is gonna look slick. It's the little tiny details like this that just fascinate me because every single time I build something, some little new thing comes out in my head. This is gonna be slick. So give me a minute, I'll show you what I mean. It should make sense now what I'm trying to achieve gonna protect uh, protect the power wire but in the same breath it allows the maximum velocity of airflow out of the cabinet pretty simple just offset it from the back of the tin so hand fab the little bracket which I can pretty sure there's a machinist out there but like, oh, I could have done better than that well you know cool I don't have two full days to spend on making one little bracket but that will work. I fill these up with uh, power wire and they're going to be perfect. And then there's the other added benefit. On these jumbo cabinets, the, bo the boards have a tendency to bow a little bit as you set them, set them in here. And this will actually matches this lip and this lip and it'll help give it some support in the middle. So there's a couple of little small other fitting items I got to do. Um, I actually got to lay the board into the cabinet and I've got to get a couple support posts mounted um, front and back because the board's so thin I don't like how it flexes in the mobile so I've got to give it a little bit more rigidity in the middle of the cabinet to help support all the weight so I've got to do that real quick and I'm going to move on to jamming over here Some neat shit coming out on over here I'll be right back it's the little details you know I often wonder what it'd be like to build as a different builder and uh, not have this very eccentric style that I have. <sighs> Just slap a couple wires on it and do this and do that and nope, oh, good. I always wonder. But that's not the way things are so I'm just grateful I got as much work as I do and as I'm as busy as I am. Because right now it's notoriously the slow season, pretty much for everybody in the business, and I haven't seen it slow down not one little bit. Phone's still ringing. So, that's good. So let's go in here. Let's prevent our fire hazard. And you guys all know how I feel about it. Even though nobody can see it, I've still got to do it. This would have taken no time. I mean no time if I was using zip ties. That's not the way I play.
probably some guy out there that does aircraft mechanic wiring. He's going, no! Tie half hitches, or tie squares, or... I tie it up like this, because if I want to take the whole loom apart and not lose all the labor, I've only got to un open up one end of this thing. And then I can shuffle the whole mess down line. There, lay just like that for me. I can shuffle the whole mess down line and not have to retie all of it. Just untie one end and maybe three or four stitches, and you can sit there and work slack into it, move wires back and forth. So. There's so many different ways. I've spent so many, so much time looking at YouTube videos on how to do different knots and the ideas behind it. It's neat. It's really quite neat. The common thing is to tie a bunch of square knots or a lock hitch knot or standing there staring at that rubberized strain relief and I thought man how am I gonna make this work how am I gonna make it to where it's really pretty and it's still got some grommets on it but this whole project has been a little bit of a challenging chore come on from the beginning. I thank God my wife has been able to come out here and help me. She's going to help me bring this thing home when we get it, get this thing in the cabinet so we can get this thing done. Okay. Will this help it build one more watt? Nope. Will it help the longevity of the, the total build? Sure will. Okay. I will be able to sleep perfectly sound at night knowing that all of this is hitched up. thing is is that the board is so so stinking long that there's a lot of flex. God, I wish I had a laid down table that was a little bit bigger. There's a lot of flex and what you're trying to prevent is being able to have a wire that can do this. It can flip over and get pinched on the heat sink and then sit there and rub. And you got a fire risk. I think I did a video on that. I know I did a video on one of these. Not one of mine, it was it was built by somebody else, but that's exactly what caused this whole truck to almost burn down. It was a shorted out power lead. One more hitch.
four to go to this side and four to go to that side. to the next step. Okay, details, details, details. Let's try this, see how this works. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Details, details. Yeah. Next step. Say hi, baby. Hi, guys. My beautiful wife is helping me today. Again. I'm so bummed out. He called me today and I wanted to tell him what I was doing. I know. He's like, man, you forgot my birthday. I forget your birthday, brother. We didn't. Okay, that's one. <laughs> sure nothing gets twisted because I know him he'll look at this with a microscope. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That and I'll know about it so we gotta slide this forward a little bit. I need a little bit more wrist action. Thank you. You okay? Mm -hmm. It's not hurting your hands. You know it's fine. Watch that corner over there so it doesn't poke you. Teasing me with the idea of going through. There it comes. There it goes. Rotate it. There you go. What's this? I don't know. <laughs> Not saying yet. <laughs> say those words. Beep. That's all good. That's perfect. Oh, it's gonna work. That was a good idea. That looks really nice. I mean, I I could zip tie it up and put wire loom around it or some shit, but Make 
makes the old finger just feel lovely. I bet. I'll be that easy. Holy cow. That was nice. Oh, 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 pull the grind through. Okay. These two need to go up. This one's got to go down. stuff actually takes. simple. I could just lay the wire through here and then sit tied it up and put some plastic wire loom on it, but it's not your style. That's not my style. <laughs> <clears throat> screw up this take. All right. So now I'm going to slide this just like that. Keep, keep, keep holding it up okay. support a bit. It, inch it, inch it, and then the next season we'll be there. Slide the board back a half an inch. Mm -hmm. and adjust all flipping eight of the wires. Okay, I gotta do a 
bunch of little stuff. Right here. All that work for this. That's what I'm after. Eric can just haul ass right out the back of the cabinet. No restrictions. Everything's nice and perfectly supported. Everything's got a grommet on it. And it looks cool. I dig it. Okay, on to the next step. Well, I skipped over some steps. Sorry guys, I've got to get this done. I'm on a very, very tight timeline and let's see, since we left you last, the keying circuit's in, um, the coax pass-throughs are in, the ground straps are down, the output tuning tech caps are in, or a tuning tube. Um, part of the tuning circuit's in, the remote circuit's in, uh, the input combiner has been, or the output combiner has been installed and uh, Tuning coil has been installed. Uh, each one of the output caps have been installed. Um, let's see, the input splitter is in, the input tuning coil is in, the uh, input capacitance tube is in place. So I think all I got left to do now is uh, run a piece of like RG400 down the side of the cabinet and up and over here. And then I gotta tie in the six Six ports, man. I'm, my brain is fried. It's been a long weekend. This is all I've worked on all weekend. Plus, celebrated two birthday parties and a whole bunch of other stuff's gone on this weekend. And I feel bad because my buddy's in town. And we normally talk, like, all day long every day when he's home because he's always out of town, the guy that this amp's actually going to. And I've had to completely ignore him because he wants to talk about what I'm working on, and I can't tell him. See, right now he's underneath the belief that I'm building this a 16-pill that I'm going to ship to him where he lives and then we're going to take and deliver it. So now I've been planning this now for <clears throat> a month. So like I've been feeding him pictures and shit of uh, 16 pill builds that I did. <laughs> I'm bad. And he's underneath the impression we're going to do all this traveling and all this stuff. We're going to go see all these people. Well, we are going to kind of do some of that. We are going to do some of that. But um, the primary reason I'm going down there is just to hang out with him. So he's underneath the impression that this amp is still sitting on the shelf, not completed. He's underneath the impression. I mean, he asked me, he goes, man, I thought you were going to call and tell me that. Cause I called him and told him, man, I got a surprise. We're going to go do this and this and go meet this guy. And he goes, man, I thought you were going to tell me it. You got tired of looking at my 24 pills sitting there on the shelf. You took some mercy on me and did it. I told him, what dude, your, your 24 pills got like three inches of dust on it. It's been sitting on the shelf now for like two and a half years. It's his birthday present. This has taken all day, but I'm almost done because this thing has to leave here tomorrow. It's 1030 at night. I probably won't get done with this till 11. No, probably 12, maybe one. I'm going to sleep for four or five hours, get up, do the fans, make sure the whole thing's running perfect. And then I got to put it in a box and not see it again until I get on the other end. Crazy, right? Kind of sounds like roadkill. Anyhow, <clears throat> when I say that roadkill, that's a show on YouTube, by the way. Uh, check it out. Motor Trend Show. On that note, I'm going to keep thrashing. So the next thing I do is I got to grab my notes and figure out my fire, firing order is for which way I need to run the RF for the inputs, the outputs, the inputs. This thing looks sick. It's clean and bare bones. Now... There is a little bit of a capacitor bank down underneath the input circuitry. You see that? I don't have to worry about it too much. This guy's got three or two Maxwell supercapacitors that sit between his battery and his charge system and the amplifier. It's going to be sick. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what this thing does. Anyhow, on that note, mini coax time, mini coax time. I'll be back. Mr. Black, let's see, it's uh, 5 to 2, 6 to 2 in the morning, and you're done. Ask Toshiba's, you guys. Write this day down on your 
freaking calendars because this is going to be one of the very last few Toshiba boxes you probably ever get to see. At least in a 24 pill class being as expensive as they are. Now I just got done tuning this thing. Um, this piece took an hour and a half to do to get it straight in the way I wanted it and the way I had it pictured in my head. These little side feeders took another hour or so. So I've been sitting here digging with it, um, just tuning it. Let me, uh, let me show you what we got going on here. So, shit, how do I do this here? We got 1,000 watt slug in PEP, 5,000 watt slug in average, 5 watt slug in reverse, 50 watts, or yeah, 50 watt slug reflect between the 24 pill and I'm getting tired. And, uh, two pill. So now I got the two by four off and I'm not going to show you our final numbers, but it's well north of this. Okay. So let me show you what we're going to put into this for drive. We're going to go down to one X. Let me crop this up a little bit better. And I apologize you guys for my stumbling around in video here. I literally have been working on this all day. So I'm just gonna hit it with a two pill. Let me turn the uh, turn the 24 pill off. A 300 peak. God, my brain can't even work. How much average? I swear I'm running muscle memory here. Wow, that's woefully impressive. 100 watts average, 300 watts peak, right? Some 14.5 volts. Turn the amp on. Go down to 5x setting. So fully deflected over here, you guys, is 5,000 watts. 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Oh. That's 300 watts of drive. Oh. Oh. And a thousand bird. Oh. This thing shits and gets with it. Complete input tune. Four whole watts. Whew, I'm tired. So last detail. Oh god damn. Last detail. Fans. Get these banged out and then I'm going to bed. And I gotta get up early and start on this again. So it's two now, so yeah, I might shut this down by three. Now, Mr. Black, I'm sitting on the couch with you down there in a beautiful place that we're going to stay at. <clears throat> and uh, right now you're looking at me going, God damn, man. So the way I've got this set up is that uh, I'm going to get this thing filmed, edited, put together, and then I'm going to put it up into YouTube, and then I'm going to make it public. Once I get down there, and I'm going to let him sit down and watch this video. And... Uh, Say congratulations and happy birthday. So as soon as we get done watching this thing, let's go put it in your truck and see what we can get it to do for watts. Anyhow, give me just a second. Through the magic of cinematography, we'll have fans. Hi, right, it's 2.45 a.m. Now, I'm not used to being on nights. I'm a day kind, kind of guy now. And uh, I've hit a stopping point. The stopping point is my... Uh, fiberglass fiberboard um, hole plugs that I've got they've been painted they've been okay cut sanded primed painted and the fans are all mounted now and yeah we use the big thick high flow fans and needless to say this is as far as I get to get tonight so now I'm gonna go get four hours of sleep five hours of sleep so I'll see it about six or seven all right see you guys in the morning I'm going to bed 
Lord knows I'm babbling my ass off. Bye. It's killing me not to tell you what's going on, by the way, bro. Okay, so we're back. So I got the super duper high flow fans on here now. And I had screen guards on there like this. These little mesh guards. But they literally slowed the velocity of the air all the way down to the point where there was no gain of having these super duper fans on there. So I took the guards off. But we got your fans all set up. Filtered voltage regulated to whole nine yards. Um, we got the load rated. Um, quarter inch, or no, eighth inch thick fiber boards installed. So now the only thing left to do is to shoot the wrap video for this thing. I'm so excited. I can't wait to unpackage this with you here in just a couple days, my friend. So let me get all this set up on the bench and we're gonna do the actual wrap up video for this thing. We're gonna get it done right now. So Mr. Black, when we come back, your 24 pill that you started, but the wife and I finished. Mr. Black, I wanna stop before I go any further. And I wanna thank my wife for all the help on this build. This has been unreal. And real doesn't even quite cover it. It's been an interesting last three days, four days. I'm so glad that I can get this thing off in the mail tomorrow to you. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to send a bunch of other little parts with it. Like I'm going to send you upgraded Anderson clips. Because we're right at the maximum amount that your Anderson clips can carry that you've got in the system now. Um, I'm going to send you some more wire. We're going to have to wire a couple little things on the inside so there's not going to be any warranty stickers on this thing. I've got to wire some stuff on the inside for like the meters and so forth. I can't quite remember how that's wired because you're the only external meter setup that I've done that was wired that way. So i got to wait and do that on your side of the street when I get there. But uh, you're done. Now, this was supposed to be about this much shorter width-wise and about this much shorter, this much shorter length-wise. But as you've seen in the video, we had to do heart transplant work on this thing. So, buddy, we love you. Happy birthday. Looking forward to seeing you in a couple days for sure. And when you get to watch this, I'm going to be sitting next to you and we're going to be watching it together. So, man, here's your 24 pill. Now, we're going to use a 5,000 watt slug and peak. Or pardon me, a 1,000 watt slug and PEP with a 5 times multiplier implied. That's a 5,000 watt slug and average down there. 5 watt slug in reverse back from the bird 10,000 watt dummy load. 50 watt slug between the two by the 4 pill, which is getting driven by the 2 pill, which is getting hit by a 2950. This thing is spot on the money. We're running at 16.5, but when we key it's dropping down to 14.4. So this is on 14.4 volts, what this box does. So first off, we're going to start and we're going to show you drive. We're going to work our way up. That's on the two pill. Now in the last video, it was barely doing 4,000, right? Say sayonara to the needle, motherfucker. Here we go. That's off the scale. Peaking up towards close to 6,000 watts. Now let me show you what I'm putting into it for drive. Ultimately, you'd want to run a 2x6. About 1,100 watts. Perfect. 
with these fans, the capacitors in your truck, the alternator that's in your truck, the battery system we installed in your truck, uh, the BBI personal 2x4 two, two that I sent you, we're going to get close to 6,000, 6,500 out of this in the mobile without any strain. Now these, these fans sound horribly loud on camera, but they're not that bad in real life. Um, my friend, Mr. Paul, who just got his 48 pill, who's got four of these things on his 48 pill, he got it today. That thing's doing north of 10,000 watts on his setup at his house. Um, he's so excited. He's like, man, these fans, I thought they were screaming loud because of the video. Nah. The microphone on this, on this camera is deceiving. Oh, I forgot to show you one more thing. a reflag five 14 or 1300 going in or 1200 going in burying at 5,000 watt slug on peak 2,000 bird and that's on 14.5 so imagine if we turn the voltage up a little bit to like 16.5 yeah 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 mr. black thank you guys I appreciate everybody's patience this working with me I've got so much going on all the time it's so hard to try and keep up the number one thing is if you guys can make sure to click the like button and please if you're not a member of the channel yet click subscribe and make sure to click the notification button that way you can follow along with all the crazy stuff we do over here all the time i mean here we're not even 10 days into the month i've done two three five hundred z boxes um three texas stars two two pills and a 48 pill have all come out in 10 days I'm busy and I'm doing the best I can to stay up with everything so please don't be offended please just extend patience to me everybody will get taken care of and in a prompt order as best that I can on that note guys I gotta go like I said I got a bunch going on I gotta get this thing ready to go I got a bunch of other stuff I need to get ready to do so Gentlemen, my name is BBI. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. <laughs> Come check us out, www.bbims.com. Come find me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, the You Gargler, of course. Um, check out all the live feeds on Facebook. Yeah, and thanks, guys. I honestly do not get to be here without your all's support. I don't. I give thanks for every single one of these deals I get to do and every single person I get to work with. Okay, this has been an uphill struggle. Now I can get back to doing the nine to five job, which is the same thing. I'll see you guys, I appreciate you all. Mr. Black, we'll see you in a couple days, buddy. Bum bum bud. <laughs> BBI, gone.